if I met myself as a freshman right now, I would, I would say, wow, you, you're going to have a good time. There are going to be ups and there are going to be downs, and that's life, right? We are always going to face challenges, but work hard, set your goals, fight for what you believe in, and you're going to be okay. I've been really proud of the people I've surrounded myself with. And so my best friends today are my best friends I met freshman year. We were involved in university governance together. We were involved in leadership together. I, I found really good friends here. And the fact that they're still my friends and we're still pushing each other to be our best, I'm forever grateful for that. I think that I would tell myself to not be afraid to look into different programs or activities outside of news itself um, because the industry is moving to be multidisciplinary. Um, so you really need to have um, experience, you know, digitally, uh, as well as using, you know, equipment, as well as, you know, doing radio. But I would say to get even more immersed in that, do as much as you can while you're here. Ball State just gives you a different experience where you can go in and get real world hands on experience that you're going to use in your professional life. So you're looking at, you know, live shots and, and packages and, you know, working with equipment like cameras and Avid, News Cutter, those are things that I use in my professional journey. So when I went to NBC 15 in Madison, Wisconsin, I walked in knowing how to edit knowing how to use the camera. I knew certain approaches I had to take to do a story because of Ball State. So I think every experience that I had between undergrad and graduate school just made me well-rounded so I could go into the professional world and be ahead of other people because of what Ball State allowed me to do. I would tell myself that it's okay to explore. I'm very much a type A, have to have a plan, need to know the road. And right off the bat, my freshman year, my road ended when soccer was over for me. And I had all this free time. And so the first thing I did was get a job. I was a dishwasher at Woodworth. Yes, it was quite the interesting experience. And after that, I decided to really take a step up in the student organizations I was already involved with. So I did some work for the Daily News. My sophomore year, I continued working for them and eventually got a paid opportunity, which was great. I found another job near campus at TIS Bookstore. I worked in the sportswear department, which was also a very fun and rewarding job. And then I just really started to get involved in other things. And through the other organizations, I learned what I liked. So I figured out I liked event planning. So then I applied for the homecoming steering committee and I was the publicity chair as well as Air Jam chair my, the following year. So my plan B turned out to be learning more about what I could offer myself academically and then Ball State does such an amazing job of providing you with endless opportunities really making a plan that I was going to squeeze every opportunity out of this school before I left and it turned out to be quite the amazing trip. Relax and put yourself out there and you know try and, and be yourself and you know be the best version of yourself that you can be because you know you're going to look at all these other people who you think are doing better than you or you're going to look at somebody who you think oh that's what I really want to be doing but that may not be the path that's meant for you. And what works for you may not work for other people. So I would just say find what you're good at, find your niche, and just really hammer that home. Just figure out what interests you and what you're talented in. And the best way to do that is, yes, going to class is important, but you have to get involved with student media. If you're going to be a journalist and that's what you're spending all this money to get an education on, then why wouldn't you go and be a journalist? Because that's what you are whenever you become a member of student media. It builds connections. You learn so much more than what you can in just a classroom. And then, you know, also go for those internships early. I think that too often we live our lives thinking, you know, I don't know if I should stand out. I'm not sure if I should try these new things. What if it doesn't work out? So if I could meet myself, I'd say, go for it. Try whatever you want to try. This is the time to do it. You don't have to have the fear that things aren't going to work out. Considering that I really struggled in my first quarter here academically, I probably would have told him, you have an obligation and a responsibility to yourself. You can fail, but you can't have anyone else fail around you. Success is going to be driven internally. And if you don't have the fortitude and the wherewithal to cinch up your britches and get after the hard work, that's on you. That'll be your responsibility. The main thing really is I didn't come here with the right serious 
academic student approach. Now, on the other hand, I had a very large social network. <laughs> I uh, had a lot of places I could go and people I could have fun with, and there was always a good time to be had. And I would probably tell myself, make sure you manage that. Make sure that you uh, understand who the people are that you're with and that those people are interested in you as much as they are in themselves. They want you to su succeed and they have an interest in you, you know, completing the journey here. If I could tell my freshman self, I would tell her to chill out uh, just for a second and start listening to the people around me. Putting myself out there and getting uncomfortable because when I started putting myself in very uncomfortable situations like going to super party by myself or talking to professors I didn't know and throwing myself out there, being uncomfortable was the best path for me. It just led me to all these amazing things and the more I did it, the more comfortable I got with being uncomfortable. You know, really trying to make a difference out here and also try to hone my craft here at Ball State. And I thought I was, you know, possibly going the TV route and, you know, doing audio for that. But then someone said, you should really try this radio station. I'm just like, we'll see what happens. I end up going to Super Party. Of course, everyone saw a Super Party. So Super Party, good luck. WCRD was, you know, the very, very first station that I ever worked on. That's always going to be where my foundation of radio lies. And at my first show, February 25th of 2010. Now. It's a special day I'll never forget because it was also my mom's birthday. So I got to call mom saying, hey, mom, happy birthday. Love you so much, but we got to get ready to switch majors because I found out what I'm doing the rest of my life, and I think I'm kind of good at it. I would tell my freshman self, don't get up at midnight and go to a party, but we'll edit that out. Um, what would I tell my freshman self? I was a very shy child, so I would probably tell my freshman self to put herself out there more, meet more people initially, don't hang out in my room. I think part of that was the pre-med major. It wasn't, you know, like journalism where you were kind of a family. That wasn't the same atmosphere. But just kind of enjoy it. Don't, as I mentioned earlier, I was the first in my family to go to college, so I felt like there was a little bit of pressure. So I would, probably would have told my freshman self to mingle more, to relax more, that would all be okay. If I were to meet my freshman self today, I'd first of all tell him to get a haircut. I had a little bit of long hair back then, a little hippie. And I would tell him, enjoy your time at Ball State. Enjoy the next four years. Uh, life's going to come along pretty fast. Uh, you're going to have to start adulting pretty quick. Grasp the moment. Grasp all the, the positive things about college and campus life uh, and, and hang on to them because uh, they're very precious and they go by very fast. For me, the number one recommendation for undergrads is to do student media and to, to do internships. And student media gets you the clips to get internships, and internships gets you the clicks and the connections to get a job. And I think it's that easy. I, I, well, it's been that easy for, for us. So I think journalism is really about showing people what you can do, and I think that's the best way to do that. Even if it's a year later, um, like I was a year removed from my internship, and they still remembered me, and when a position came open, called me. So that's my number one piece of advice. I think for students looking to make those connections while they're still in school, it's very important to get involved and at some level look for potential to create your own opportunities because Emma Kate and I actually worked together, I think it was in your senior year, to start a student group within the Online News Association here at Ball State. And what that allowed us to do was kind of put together these small seminars where we would reach out to local uh, reporters. So that's how we, or at least for me, that's how I got connected with Greg Fallon. She had interned there previously. Um, but I just asked him to come over and speak at our event, and we kind of got to know each other, traded a few emails that way. And uh, it was actually a similar thing that allowed me to get my internship at the Indianapolis Star because I connected with Amy Bartner, who was um, a digital reporter there at the time. And she came up and did this event. And we then had connections who helped us get our feet in the door at a couple different papers. People who we worked with, even in our professional jobs, who then left, um, also helped us get our next job. So I guess a former uh, Indy Star reporter is the one who kind of brought Dakota on at um, IndyCar. And then um, two former Indy Star reporters now work at Chalkbeat. And they kind of knew me and knew Indy Star. And so I think that just continues to be helpful so throughout your career. Work harder than everyone else. Be the hardest working person in the room and I think you'll always not only get the gig, but people will respect you.